Pero en el aislamiento, las mujeres son las que sufren las consecuencias. La pandemia está en la casa y en la casa es el lugar más peligroso para una mujer en Colombia. Could you imagine being trapped with an aggressor for almost two years? Colombia was one of the last countries to lift mandatory lockdown under COVID-19. While this was happening, the number of reports of domestic violence dropped, getting dangerously close to zero. This raised concerns because the nation has been one of the most violent and sexist against women in the last 70 years. This sexism has, among other things, forced the majority of its victims to dedicate their daily lives to household chores. It is at home where we found a way of reaching out them without being detected by the aggressors. If reports of domestic violence continue to die out, media attention and public protection policies and laws will do the same. MISA Foundation introduces Recipes Against Abuse. We created a registration form where we explained the purpose of the initiative and asked the victims of violence to keep a specific ingredient at hand which would serve as a call for help. Then, we hosted a live cooking bro broadcast with two of the most famous chefs in the country. At first glance, the broadcast seemed normal. But in reality, it allowed women to make a secret report by following the instructions and including rosemary, parsley or cilantro at the end. This was the signal that warned us without attracting the aggressor's attention. After posting the pictures of the recipe in an Instagram story, tagging the chefs and using the hashtag it's time to do it we were able to track them down to start the process of guidance and help this way 406 women registered with the intention of reporting and eight of them broke their silence by using the recipe thanks to this action after confinement eight violent men could be locked up again this time in a prison Recipes Against Abuse, the Instagram Live that allowed women to report violence without being detected.